Hello, fellow rosarians. I thought that I'd take you around with me. I need to clip up a couple of roses that I just put in the ground. I'm seeing that they have a little bit of dieback, so I wanna cut them back just in case there's any issue going on that I'm not aware of. And so how do we do that? I've seen videos where people have a Clorox wipe or something and they're cleaning their clippers after each <laughs> ignore my <laughs> all of my alcohol coming out of here you want to keep your clippers clean um, and if you think about going rows to rows to rows if you're clipping your rows and it has an issue like black spot or any other fungus or bacteria you want to make sure that your clippers are clean to do that the easiest way that i have found get a painter's bucket here you should be able to get that at your local box store and then grab alcohol i have 91% and it's very inexpensive. You can buy it in a two pack at Target, Walmart. Everybody sells it now. Even with COVID, you can still find it. And it's about $3, I think, per two pack. But I'll go ahead and link it down below. So I go ahead and I pour and fill the um, alcohol here. I was using scissors earlier. I want those to be sanitized too. So we'll pull those out. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and fill up. And so then in between each cup, it just sits here real nice. I'm gonna show you the, uh, the roses that I've decided to take a clip off of and make sure, we've talked about this in my video that I just did for the um, defoliation. You wanna make sure that anything that you cut off of a rose, that you don't just drop it on the ground. And I know that I've been in a rush myself in the past and I've just gone around and clipped and let everything fall and drop as, and let God take care of it. You wanna get everything out of there just to make your life a little bit easier. So take one more step and bring out with you your bin to go ahead and put everything in. Bring your clippers and your alcohol just so it's less work for you during the season and you can enjoy things a little bit more. So with that, let me go ahead and show you what I'm taking care of. Okay, so looking at this rose, this is David Austin the Squire. I just got it. And so if we're looking here, I can see that it's leafing out down here in this cane, and this is a very healthy new cane, but do you see the dye back here? I want to go ahead and cut it back. I'm taking it out of my alcohol here and I wanna cut it back to here, right below where the black spot is. And I don't want it in my bed, so I'm gonna put it here in my debris. Clean off the clippers again in between every cut when you see something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Clean the clippers. And now looking at this one, it could be the nature of each specific rose, like your children, they're all a little bit different, but I, just to be safe, it looks like to me there could be some mottled cane here. So I think I see a bud right here coming up. I'm gonna clip it right above that bud. Do you see that? Now there have been videos that say, you wanna cut these in an angle. You don't wanna cut them straight across. Do you see, those have already been cut by David Austin. So when they're cut at an angle, it allows the rain to drop off and not settle here on the top of the cane, which could cause additional rot and damage, I guess. But I've also seen videos where it says, don't worry about that. Whatever you do with the cut, just make sure that you allow a little space above that cane um, for it to force out. So let's look back here at this one. Um, can you see how here it's modeled and it's got dieback, but I have healthy a healthy flush of pink coming out here, here, and up here. I'm gonna cut it right here below that damaged part and right above several canes. So let's move on to the next one. It's a pretty quick process. I'm gonna put my clippers back in here. Do you see here looking at this, how it's brown? Let's go ahead right above these, uh, the new flush out right here, and I'm gonna cut it right here. Okay, all done. Um, so this rose is now all better. Now let's look at this one. This is Eve's Piaget. This is also Eve's Piaget, and I'm going to go ahead and clean my clippers again in between each cut. This one here definitely is die back. So we're going to cut it back down to here. Okay, I don't want it dropping in my bed. And the one thing that you need to, you can cut it back pretty darn far, but when you've got this crown here, this is basically the brain of the rose. That's the only place that you should not cut a rose, but anything above that is fine. So 
let me go ahead and look at what's under here and you see it's it's pretty it's dyed back now to here so let's go ahead and clean these clippers and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down here okay so I think that that rose is good enough for now I'm gonna watch this and just see how it goes I'm not ready to cut it right now but we're certainly gonna think about that in the future so looking back at this Eve's Piaget, it has brown that I didn't see from the side that I'm on. I do see it's trying to flush out down here. So let's go ahead and take it all the way down to right above that new flush that's getting ready to come out. Oh, this is a nice strong cane. Okay, and it's nice and green, so it's gonna be healthy. All right, put it back in here. Let's head down for, down to here. Okay, this is James Austin. This cane here has completely died back. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this back here. Okay, clean the pruners here. And up here, we've got some die back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Okay, so now this rose looks all pretty and all better. Okay, last one for today. This one here, these two canes definitely have died back. So we're going to cut this one all the way back. And look at that. I mean, you can see it's not even green in here. But that's really as far back as I can go because any further and I'm into the crown. Let's go ahead and cut this now. So I hope this video was helpful and you'll take a, a little bit extra time with your roses. Consider using something like this. It makes it super easy to have your alcohol and just drop it in here at, after each cut and keep those beds clean. And I hope that you have a wonderful gardening season with your roses. Please subscribe and hit the alert button so that you can see my next video. I'll see you in the next one.